like that. Okay. You're doing good. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Good. Yes. Right. Okay. That's that. So that's a depressor. That's men mentalis muscle. Okay. Then last we have the platysma muscle. Everybody show me the platysma. Which is this muscle here, as you can see. So this is basically what? A superficial muscle. It's located in the superficial fascia beneath the skin. So basically it comes from the the fascia of the pectoralis comes from the fascia of the deltoid and then goes up all the way to the neck and the lower part of the, uh, the chin. It attached to the mandible and lips. Lips and slightly the modulus, the chest over here. So, so when, you, when it contracts, it's like this. You do this. Like that. I've seen a horror, horror movie. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, so that's about it. So this, so the majority of what we need to know one, okay, just like recap and just getting things together. One, all the, uh, the muscles located in the face, the facial muscle, uh, facial expression muscle are innervated by? Facial. facial nerve. One of the, one of the exception we, have, we didn't talk about is the levoparpibus superioris muscle. We don't see it here, so it basically comes from the orbit, and then goes forward and attaches to the the, uh, the upper eyelid, the, the superior tarsal. It's a connective tissue, that's connective tissue of the superior uh, eyelid. It pulls it, so basically it elevates the uh, the eyelid. So levator, palpebra means eyelid, palpebra superioris. That is innervated by oculomotor nerve. Okay, so that's the oculomotor, that's the exception. The rest of the nerves are innervated by the facial yeah. nerve. That's one second. Yeah. Is that all these muscles, as you can see, it's basically connected to the, to the skin of the face. So therefore, the skin is basically, uh, it, it, it's movable. Okay, it's movable, it's mobile. That, that is, that's why. So it comes from the bone and attaches to the skin. Or it might come from the fascia, and then, it, again, it, it might attach to the skin. Ultimately, the skin, it allows the skin to move so you can make these expressions uh, on your face. That's, that's the second thing that <coughs> needs to be uh, known. And the other thing is that, um, is that, that we have, so therefore we have lines. So we have, what, what lines do we have? We have the frontal lines, okay, frontal lines and and this is uh, this is uh, basically done by wrinkles, frontal wrinkles, and this is this is done by which muscle? Frontalis, Frontalis. muscle. Okay. So we also have like cross feet. Cross feet. Where is it located? Cross feet. Right. At the lateral angle of the eyes, and and that is done by which muscle? Auricularis oculi muscle. Good. And then we have what line do we have? We have the uh, naso um, labial. Nasal labial fold. That is done by, say it. Okay, levator labi superiors aliconazi, right? And what else do we have? And then we have the. Uh, what? Radial lip line. Radial lip? Radial line. Or shin line in there. Okay, so then we have the. Um, uh, mellow, la uh, mellow label uh, for, uh, furrow or fold, which is this fold here, mellow uh, labial, and this is done by. Right, that's that's done by the depre depressor angli oris muscle. Okay. All right. So. Um, There's already a lip line. Okay, no, that's not radial, but you call it some, something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's about it there. So that's, that's enough. That's it there. Okay, so what else do we have? That's, a, that's it. Um, concerning the muscles. What else do we have? Anything else that, that, we, that we didn't cover? Okay, so another thing is that, like I said, so we talked about the um, a Bell's palsy, right? So we, we looked at the orbicularis oculi muscle, we talked about that. 
so they can't close their eyes, so their eyes are open, and the tears droops or flows uh, on the cheek. That's one second. Um, second, again, so if the levator levi superior is aleconazis, if, 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 if that is paralyzed, so what, what do you expect to see? So there won't be any furrow here, okay? Yeah. So you won't see these uh, folds, skin folds. Okay, so if there is, if there is no, so let's say that person, uh, so how would you check uh, the person's like um, uh, zygomatics major or minor? What would you t ask uh, from, from the patient to do? Right, no, smile, no, smile. Right, so you would ask patient to, to smile and obviously they would, they would not have the ability to smile. So at one part, they would smile, but the other part of the, their face, they can't smile. So basically this part of, the, of their face, the major or minor is paralyzed. And along with them, the right resort is also paralyzed there too. Okay, that's two. And so if, how would you check like, again, um, orbicular uh, oris muscle? Moving the mouth. Whistling. Hmm? A what? Whistling. Whistling? No. What? No, you would you would tell the person to 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 make a, a kiss uh, form of, of for with your with your mouth. Well, this is not a really kiss, but you don't do this. But and again, they would not do that. But also, you would ha also expect to to see what. That was, that was my question, actually, not a, not a kiss. But you would expect to see that person, so their saliva would, would droop. Mm -hmm. So basically, then this part on one side, if it's paralyzed, orbital locus, they can't basically hold their mouth. Okay, so slightly in one part of the mouth, they would droop. Okay, they would droop. And when they droop, the saliva would, would go down. That would also, just like the tears, same thing would happen in the mouth too both in the eyes and both in the mouth. So you'd have a, a drooping of the saliva uh, on, the, on your uh, uh, face or the uh, cheeks. Okay, and so if you wanna, it's like, let's say if you wanna check, it's like if you wanna check the, uh, the vaccinator muscle, so what would you ask that person to do? Right, whistling, okay, whistling or, or puffing the, the cheeks, okay. So you would ask that person to do that and that person would not will not be able to accomplish that emotion. And so that's about it, I think. Anything else that I did that I, that I forgot? The first septa? The first septa, yeah. So over here, so that is also a small muscle and it pulls the, uh, the septum. When it pulls the septum, it opens the nostrils. And that, that, that normally occurs when a person is really angry. When they're angry, their, their nose opens, okay? And they get more air inside their, um, their head and the brain and to, the, to, the, to, to their body. Okay, so the, uh, we talked about the facial nerve, right? The facial nerve. Okay, the contents of the, uh, the parotid gland, and that's about it. Okay. Thank you very much for listening, Jeff. So that.